at Gamescom this year, a Saints Row reboot was announced. Now it looks uh, okay. It, it doesn't look great. I mean, it, honestly, it kind of looks like a Fortnite cutscene or something. It's and it's got some characters I I don't personally care for, but you can make your own boss in the game, the the main character. So that that's kind of all aside. The, the other characters, the uh, side characters, the NPCs and stuff, they they look kind of dorky and stuff, but whatever, you know. Um, but the Saints Row Twitter, you know, put out a little, a little teaser for the trailer, which you can go find the trailer online. Just type in Saints Row Reboot. It's only 15 seconds and stuff. Well, this guy responded, you know, Gavinator. I know you won't listen, but if you want fans to stop complaining and giving you all shit, maybe just maybe replace these clowns and give us the real Saints. Doesn't even have to be the old crew, just real gangsters. That would honestly clear up a lot of the hate you guys are getting. Now, I will say that that their 15 second teaser or whatever got 13,000 likes. You know, and you're like, okay, well this guy, this guy got 845 likes. Well, we'll say 846 because, well, 847. I just liked it. Here's how the Saints Row Twitter responded. Oh, haters gonna hate. You know, then he replies, if anything, I'm not a hater. I've been defending you guys since people called you a GTA clone, which wasn't true at all. Now I feel like I wasted my time defending you guys as the boss once said, the Saints used to mean something. Only MF to seem to remember that is me and Gat. Which has 1.2 thousand likes. So they've... Mm, over a thousand likes more. Maybe. Yeah, I'll just add that. And they respond, we're not backing down on this game. We get it. It's new and it's a shock reaction to a reboot like no other. The GIF was supposed to convey that. Which, you know, it's like you were calling the guy a hater. You morons, but whatever. Well, articles have started coming out about this PC gamer the Saints Row reboot won't be as edgy as its predecessors they want to tell a contemporary quote-unquote story that people can relate to and here's the actual trailer I, this is on archive I ain't giving these clowns little fucking uh, clicks but anyway and, and it goes on and it talks about how like bombastic and over-the-top it was you know and and it still will be because if you look at if you see the trailer there's Tons of stuff in there that's just like way over the top, which isn't necessarily a problem. I I kind of preferred like Saints Row 2, and even even the first one when they were a little more grounded. Like I had fun with three, and four was fun because of the powers, but it wasn't Saints Row. It was you know because it's like you became an ungod or an unstoppable god. I mean, but anyway, they talk about it goes on and on, and it's just, uh, and, you know. And it's just, you know, bullshit, basically. Your typical kind of PR stuff. Where, or, I guess, they're not PR guys. These are actually developers on the game. But basically, bullshit. They're just saying, oh, well, you know, it's going to be great. We're doing this. We're doing that. And everything. Here's a part. What's probably not returning is the exact tone of humor that players might remember from Saints Row 3 and 4. I remember laughing often at Saints Row the 3rd when I played it 10 years ago. But it took some Googling to remember just how embarrassingly edgy its writing was. Its writing was. Between memorable set pieces and lovable characters were moments of casual sexism and homophobia. You know, all that kind of shit. And basically then the guy goes on to confirm that, you know, we love the old Saints Row games. But we also recognize those are games of their time. They made sense within that era and we were able to do things that felt good back then. But that tone is not something we feel like we want to do today. We had a different kind of story we wanted to tell. So in other words, it's going to be, it's going to be shit. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be a Saints Row game. It's gonna be fucking garbage. You know. It's. It, and then here's here's a story from a niche gamer. So they oh they face backlash, but they won't back down. Doesn't want the tone of the past games, which is basically just a repeat of what the previous story had, had said. There's a you know again lo it looks like Fortnite, you know in terms of you know but whatever. But uh, and it shows. You know, pictures of the main characters. And so, although, again, you can make your own main character up. You know, it's got a... The official trailer's got a like-dislike ratio of 16,000 to 21,000. Which, you know, that's not very good. But anyway, and this is just kind of like a, a repeat of what it had been uh, said in the in the uh, PC Gamer article. It still features the criminality and the over-the-top tone that we're known for. How the fuck are you going to be over-the-top... If, if you're wanting to make a game, it's contemporary. It's like bullshit, you know. They, they, 
they also rebuffed those claiming the default boss being a black woman was purely a token gesture. Well, I mean, you know, look, we know it was because it's like they could have if they had made the, the 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 main you know the boss the default boss a white man, there would be huge outrage from all these clowns. But to, you know, so making it a black woman, it was a token gesture. Now that's not that doesn't mean that making it a black woman was a stupid idea or anything like that. It's just it was a token gesture. You guys did that because you don't want to have people, you know, the, you know, the usual clowns who work in the games, quote unquote, journalism, you know, crying racism and sexism and all that shit. But anyway, you know, uh, it just it just goes on and on. I think the game is probably not going to sell well at all because it's just... It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be Saints Row. So like the old Saints Row fans, it's just like when they when they remake fill in the blank TV show, movie, whatever, and they completely change everything that made it what it was. Saints Row was always about being kind of like over the top, but not like too much. You know, it wasn't like just crazy. It was like, now the first one was kind of, over the top, but not too too bad, really. Then, then it got progressively more and more. I, I think Saints Row 2 was probably the best. Although Saints Row 3 was really good. The third, as they called it. But anyway, uh, that pretty much closed the door. I just wanted to show this stupid article on The Verge. Panasonic photoshopped a white man's head onto a black man's body. Which, no, I hate, I hate how they lowercase the white, but they'll uppercase the black. Like, what the fuck? If that isn't virtue signaling, I don't know what is. But anyway, uh, here's the picture. I don't know why they're showing that, but whatever. But uh, apparently, again, here, there's the picture. And here is what it was photoshopped from. And I'm talking like, they he's got the same creases in the shirt. And he's setting the same, he's got the same arm definition as the guy, you know, says right here. Someone took the black man, again, capitalized, stuck a white man, again, lowercase, head on top, lightened his skin, and changed the color of his game controller in his shirt. Now, the real thing to me is, like, why would, Pan you know, it does look like Panasonic did that. I don't, I, I mean, I don't think that there's a lot of doubt about that. I would say it's probably 99.99% .99 confirmed or something, but anyway. Well, I don't know why Panasonic would do that. Why, why not just go out and get some other, you know, stock photo and use that? Or why not just use... I mean, I get... This guy doesn't look exactly like... Because this, this is that kind of over-the-top YouTube face. That fucking goober shit that I can't stand. And then the thumbnails with their all mouth gaping open and looking like a fucking fool. Whereas this guy just kind of looks more real. You know? But... It's just like, why would Panasonic do that? Go out and get, there's plenty of other stock photos you could use of guys looking super excited. I don't know why they would have done this, but I also don't know why in the hell, The Verge, you'd write an entire fucking article about it. Put it up on Twitter and stuff. Oh, you got 26 likes and 24 comments. Like, you know, it's, to me, it's just stupid. Like, why in the hell? I don't want to devote an entire video to this. I just fucking think it's stupid that the Verge is so thirsty for racism and shit that they got to go out. And again, like I said, this is on archive because I'm not giving them the clicks. But they got to go out and, and talk about something like this. Like, what the hell? Anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.